hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we want to look at the concept of arithmetic mean am geometric mean gm and harmonic mean now the concept of mean is always discussed with respect to two elements of a sequence so if we have two elements say a and b uh, sorry c as uh, two elements in a sequence now the mean of these two elements is another element that will come in between them let's call it b that will come in between the two of them and it will still give you three consecutive elements of say arithmetic progression so if it gives you let's say ac are uh, you know terms of an arithmetic progression and then you introduce b and you still have three consecutive elements of an arithmetic progression then you say that b is an arithmetic mean of a and c and if it happens in a geometric progression you call b the geometric mean of a and c that means you introduce it in between a and c and you still have three consecutive terms of a gp and then if it happens in harmonic uh, progression you call it harmonic mean all right now if it is uh, for arithmetic mean now how do you get that b we said that that b is equal to a plus c all over two and we're going to see how this is uh, gotten and then uh, what about geometric mean now your geometric mean b is always equal to uh, the square root of ac and then what about the harmonic mean so your harmonic mean b is that element that is you that you can get when you have 2ac all over a plus c all right how did we get all of this now you recall that if, let's say you have two terms a and the c and then you decide to introduce b now there is one thing that defines an arithmetic progression that thing is that you must have a common difference so what it means is that b minus a must be equal to c minus b okay so from this equation we can find our b and you are going to have b plus b which is 2b and then a coming here will give you a plus c and so therefore that's how we got b to be a plus c all over 2 all right which is the the arithmetic mean and then what about the second one for geometric mean so you recall that when you have a b c and we say that the three of them are three consecutive terms of a gp and so you also have the concept of your common ratio so the implication by common ratio is that b all over a must give you common ratio which must be equal to c all over a that means sorry c all over b all right so and then when you make b the subject of the formula here what will happen you are going to have b squared that's cross multiplying b squared is equal to ac so which means that b alone is equal to the square root of ac now one condition that you must note here is that for uh, a geometric mean to be defined the, the 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 symbol sign for the two terms you want to define a geometric mean on must be the same they must be either both positive or both negative that's your a and c please take note of that and then how did we get the arithmetic the the harmonic mean now you recall that if a b c are in uh, consecutive terms of a harmonic progression what it means is that one all over a will be in arithmetic progression you recall the reciprocal will give you a p and so by this same condition here you are going to have that one over b minus one over a must be equal to one all over c minus one all over b and so if i take this to this side and this one this one i'm going to have two all over b that's this plus this and then that is going to be equal to and so if we decide to now uh, take lcm here we are going to have ac and this is going to be of course a plus c up here that's if you rearrange it of course you're going to get c here and then a here but if you rearrange it we'll have this recall that this is 2 over b this way and so from here if we cross multiply and then make a the subject we're going to have sorry b we're going to have b multiplying a plus c is equal to 2ac all right and so if you divide both sides by ac now 
you are going to get this. All right, so that's how all of these uh, formulas uh, were gotten. And please note that uh, you can actually make use of the mean to check the nature of a sequence. So in case you are asked to determine whether a sequence is an arithmetic sequence, you can just use the mean. Just pick any two, any three consecutive terms in that sequence and then use the last, the first and the last to form your A and C and then use this formula to check if you will get the middle one. And then you can do it for this and do it for this. For instance, uh, in our previous video, I said that uh, if you have 6, 4, 3, that this is uh, a harmonic progression. Uh, so we can check with this formula if that is true. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let, the implication is that this is our A and this is our C. And so what it means is that uh, if we have 2 times uh, our A, which is 6, times our C, which is 3, and that is all over 6 plus 3, that we should be able to get the middle one, which is our B. And of course, you can see this is 18, and 18 times 2 is 36, all over, this one is 9. 36 over 9 is definitely equal to 4, all right? And that proves that this is actually a harmonic sequence, okay? So now we're going to take some examples. How does this uh, concept here help us in solving problems? Example 1 here says, that we should find the numbers whose arithmetic mean is 39 and whose geometric mean is 15. Okay, so what it means is that you have two numbers, let's say AC, and then uh, they are saying that the arithmetic mean of these two numbers is 39. And so what does it mean for the arithmetic mean to be 39? It means that A plus C all over 2 must be equal to 39 and so um, if we decide to push this further that's going to give us that a plus c must be equal to 78 you can call this equation one and then what's the second information the geometric mean of these two is 15 so that means that a times c if you take the square root of it you are going to get what 15 all right and so what this means is that if you take this square root to this side, you are going to get that AC must be equal to square root coming here becomes square, and the square of 15 is 2 to 5. And so you are having these two equations. And they said that we should find the two numbers, meaning we should find A and C. All right, so we are going to solve that simultaneously. And to do that, you can either make... a uh, a the subject here or anyone so let's make c subject in equation 2 from equation 2 you see that c is equal to 225 over a and so if we substitute it into equation 1 we are going to have a okay so if we decide to uh, multiply through by a we are going to have that a squared plus if you multiply here by a you get 225 and that is equal to 78a. Okay, so if we take this to this other side, we are going to form a quadratic equation, which is going to give us, all right, so solving this quadratically, we are going to have, of course, by factorization method, the two factors here are going to be minus 75 and minus 3. All right, so if we bring that here, And that's equal to zero. So which means that our A is either equal to three or what? 75. Okay. So and that's the value for our A. And then to get the value for our C, just put it into any of this equation. So when A is equal to three, if you put it here, look at our C here, sorry. If you put it here now, uh, then your C, 225 divided by three is going to still give you 75. And when A is 75, your C will be 3. So the two numbers are basically 3 and 75. All right. And uh, so, and that's our solution to this problem. Of course, if you check it, you see that it is true. If you have 3 and 75, the mean, arithmetic mean of these two, add the two, you get 78. Divide by 2, you get 39. The geometric mean, multiply the two, you get 2 to 5. Take the square root and you get 15. All right. And that's the solution for that. So what about the second problem here? In this case, we are asked to find the common ratio of this sequence 
and then the product of x and y and uh, uh, you can see we are going to apply the knowledge of uh, uh, arithmetic mean and uh, sorry in this case is geometric mean we are going to apply and what is that remember we are looking for the uh, common ratio and to find the common ratio we need at least to find the value of x or the value of y if you know the value of x divide it by this that will give you the geometric uh, yeah the common ratio sorry and so and to get the value of x we know that these three now are three consecutive terms and since there are three consecutive terms so let's treat this as our a and this as our c and this one as our b and we recall that b is equal to the square root of ac and so in that case our b represents x which is equal to the square root of a is 16 over 9 multiplied by c which is 1 so you still get 16 over 9 therefore our x alone is 4 all over 3 if you take the square root of this and so what that means is that our b is this sorry our x is this and so the implication is that our common ratio which is actually x does a term divided by the previous term is going to be x all over 16 over 9 and if you do this our x is 4 over 3 divided by 16 over 9 if we change it to multiplication they will invert so you are going to have uh, divided by sorry multiply by 9 over 16 and this is going to give us 3 here and here we are going to have 4 so that means our common ratio is 3 all over 4 and of course if you say 1 divided by 4 over 3 you still get this all right so that's the value for the a part which is a common ratio and then the b part we are asked to find the product of x and y and you will also apply you know the knowledge of geometric mean so in that case we want to call our x here a and our y c so where b here is our one okay so we recall that uh, by that formula b squared is equal to the square root of uh, uh, ac and so that means one squared will be equal to the square root of a is x multiplied by c which is y so and that is going to give us that one squared if this one goes over here it becomes square root square root of one is one therefore ax times y is actually equal to one very simple and that is the solution for the second problem all right let's look at the next example okay so here we are told that we are to find okay our a if a is a positive number and suppose that this first sequence here is an arithmetic progression and the second is a geometric progression that we should show that this will be true okay so now we are going to apply both the knowledge of arithmetic mean and that of geometric mean assuming that here is our a and this is c so that means this is b so by arithmetic progression our b is equal to a plus c all over 2 and so what it means is that our b in that uh, progression is a it must be equal to our a which is 1 plus our c which is minus b all over 2 okay and so the implication here is that uh, if we decide to make b the subject here we are going to have that uh, 1 minus b that's cross multiplying here okay so if we decide to make b the subject here so we can call this equation one and then for equation two we have that this is a geometric progression and so by geometric mean we know that a which is our b here recall the formula b is equal to the square root of ac and so a here is our b must be equal to the square root of what of uh, a which is one multiplied by c which is b and so you still have b alone here okay and so if we make uh, b the subject in this case do that we're going to have that a squared is simply equal to b and if a is equal to b and this is equation two 
okay so if we compare equation 2 and equation 1 our b is equal to this here yeah, and our b is equal, so that means two of them must be equal and that's going to give us that a squared must be equal to this other one which is 1 minus 2a okay so taking everything to the other side we are going to have that a squared plus 2a then this one coming over here will become minus 1 must be equal to 0 okay so you see that the concept of uh, arithmetic and geometric mean helps us uh, to get the solution to this problem and of course this is where we're going to end for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and please like share and comment on our videos uh, you can find a related concept to this uh, topic you know in the description of this youtube video see you in our next video bye